Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn how to implement the search feature in our app. I'm using React Native as you know. So I have already opened my app and right now we will use Axios to get our data like whatever we need to search it and I'll be using uh, Axios library. I have already installed it and uh, I'll be using rapid API basically. So first we need a flat list to display our results and after that we will uh, add the uh, text input here and in this flat list we need data so right now I'll put it as blank array I'll create an use state for our data in flat list I'll set it as data and set data okay I'll, I'll, I'll use it as uh, I'll put a blank uh, array here basically for the first okay so now we need to like uh, render item like to whatever we need to display here we will add and in this i'll be using a simple view and a text method so that we can display our results here so in uh, search we have uh, issues like if we type something like uh, if we are type if we are going to type game so our api calls for like four times for g a m e so it is called for four times basically but now we are going to like solve this issue like if we want to search for game it only works for two one to two times only for g a m e until you stop typing it won't give you the results basically it will cancel every time you type a new character basically so we have tested our flat list and it is working yeah now we are going to create the uh, text uh, text input here yeah so in this text input we will uh, enter our search item so we will add a value here and it will be search text basically i'll add a use state also whenever we change our text uh, it will be uh, updated and the api will be called so i'll use search text in use state and i'll put it as search text and set search text yes. okay so i'll use it a uh, blank string for the first and uh, now we are going to use use effect basically in use effect we will call our api and in this i'll use search text if we change our search text uh, the use effect will be called every time we update our search text so from axios we are going to use it and if you want to know how to use axios you can check my videos i have made a dedicated video how to use axios like for put and other requests for get and delete request so you can check that i'll put it in i button and uh, yeah for catch and we have all the responses yeah we'll log out all the responses basically here and in options yeah we are missing options i'll put i'll create a variable called options and in this we need to add a method we will using get met get method basically to call our api i'm using imbd uh, title search api from rapid api so if you want to create a uh, like if you want to uh, use this api you need to create an account and you will get a key basically in params we will using query basically query search so as a queue i'll use a uh, search text here yeah so in headers you will get the headers from uh, rapid api in their website so i'll be using the key, their key i have already uh, stored the key in my json file i'll import that yeah json key and from Yeah, so we have imported our key. I'll put rapid key here. Yeah, okay. So we are we can test our API now, like after typing anything. Yeah, we can check if we have typed game, it will call for four times. Yeah, it has been called for four times. Yeah, we have our response and results. But to reduce this, we will use some methods for canceling our. Uh, api like if we want to search for game it will only search for like one or two times not four times yeah i'll set the data here and we will check our response also so for game
yeah we need to add item here basically item dot what we have what we call it here results in this result we will be using the title yeah we can use the title basically yeah we'll be using item dot title yeah you see here are, is the title basically yeah if we search anything from game it will be result will be here okay so right now it is calling for more than one times like it, it is calling for four times basically so we will reduce this okay here we are going to use a cancel token from axios axios provide us a cancel token and we'll be using that we'll create a constant axios uh, let's call it request Okay, we can use this as a cancel token from uh, Axios and we need to return it in our use effect as this this is the method to cancel our API if we are like if we type G A M E so for the first G it will try to call the API and meanwhile if you type A it will cancel the API so it will work like this so see so i have written game and for three times there is error cause it was cancelled basically and for if we stop typing the result will be there right so in this from this method we can reduce our api callings yeah for some of the uh, results title was not available that's why we are seeing blank so this is from the api basically whatever api i'm using here this is the result okay thank you so much guys for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed this and you have learned something valuable thank you so much